Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. So in today's video we are going to be talking about teething in oh. babies, which is something again that I am experiencing. Yay! <laughs> I remember that, I remember the teething stage. So yeah, how you, wh where is Elia and how are you finding it and what kind of remedies are you actually using yeah. at the moment? Okay, so Elliot is um, four and a half months and he um, is definitely, definitely teething. I can say this for sure because I can actually see a teeth, uh, tooth coming through now. Yeah, I, see I can actually see it. Um, he, I think he has been teething over the last few months. Yeah, because it takes a bit of time. It does, it? and I think it's a bit of a misconception among some people that a baby is only teething if the, a tooth is actually coming through. Mm. Um, but actually, you know, you can have babies dribbling with the swollen cheeks, the red cheeks, and a little bit of a temperature. You know, so from they're, they're all the very really young age. things that you yeah, can see quite yeah. well. Yeah. And a tooth might not come through, but they, they may be teething. So, yeah, it's a big issue. What's he doing? Is he doing anything himself? Is he sucking his fingers already? Oh, yeah. So he discovered his hands a couple of months ago, actually. And he will suck his fingers. That's really good. Um, but he'll also, um, you know, he'll chew on, on anything he can get his hands on, really. <laughs> which is fine, you know, whatever yeah. brings him comfort. Yeah. Um, so today we thought we'd talk about yeah. all the things that I've tried or am, um, you know, currently using with Elliot to help him with his teething. Do you, before we look at the things you've got, do you think actually feeding him makes a difference to him as well? Yeah, so I am still breastfeeding Elliot and... Um, Breastfeeding can be a great source of comfort, yeah. um, and I've you know had a little bit of a research online, and uh, the general advice is if your baby's teething, then yeah. they may want to feed more frequently because mm. it brings them that comfort, and so I'm more than happy to do that if that makes them feel better. And one more question. Yes. <laughs> Pacifier, yay or nay? <laughs> well, um, it's a personal choice, isn't it? Yeah. Um, it's a tricky one, I for, think. For me, I would rather not because um, I don't think he needs one. I think he'd probably enjoy one if he got used to it, <laughs> yeah. but I don't think he needs one right now. He seems quite content, yeah. um, and I wouldn't want to be in a situation where I couldn't get him off the pacifier. Yeah. But you know, they can, be, they can be great, can't they, for some babies? It's just a, a choice, isn't it? It is a choice, and I think some people really rely on them. Yeah. Um, just to give them a bit of quiet time as yeah. well, because it is self-soothing. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, you have to be quite strict with it and quite rigid that it doesn't go on for years um, and you stop it quite quickly. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, and, and I actually, a, a, a pacifier dummy and breastfeeding is what you use on a flight. And I do yes. that a lot just yes. to calm a baby down. So these things are handy. It's mm -hmm. how you use them as mm -hmm. long as we don't kind of almost use it to the point where you're you're relying on it yeah, actually you can't as a break the habit yeah you yeah. can't break your habit yeah. so okay so what have we got then today okay well let's start with um let's start with these so these are, i use those yeah <laughs> not for me for my kids yeah <laughs> these are nelson's uh teether teething granules okay these are homeopathic um perfect homeopathic is what you want yeah yeah, yeah. so these are great these are um three months plus so Elliot can happily use them now, and you just use a little little spoonful for I think a baby three to six months. You have to use a little spoon, um, spoon it into their mouth, and make sure that the um, granules fully dissolve. Um, but this can be a great way of, of relieving teething symptoms, such as the yeah. you know the, the swollen, red inflamed cheeks and the dribbling and the pain. So and is it lactose intolerance? Yeah, so this um, this has lactose in it, which I I saw when I was reading the leaflet. So babies with a lactose intolerance, yeah. I guess, maybe couldn't use this. Yeah, we'd have to You'd kind have, of yeah, yeah. research that. But yeah. yeah, it's interesting that that says that. So. Yes, it is. Yeah, but um, these are great. I'd recommend these. Good. So you're happy with those. So they yeah. work. Yeah. What else have you got? Uh, well, we've got standard. Good old cowpole. Good old cowpole. Um, obviously the infant cowpole, the lovely sweet strawberry <laughs> liquid. I think kids love this. Babies love it because well, it's so Well, you know what? Um, when I first bought this for Elliot, which was just before his um, first injections, um, I thought, and this sounds very weird, I thought, I'm going to have a try of this. <laughs> and it was so bizarre because I, I had a little taste and all these memories of being looked after yeah. by my own parents came yeah. flooding back to me. Yeah, because it's quite it's, comforting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> as strange as that sounds. But anyway, Calpol. Um, if I think Elliot is really in pain, um, or maybe he has, you know, a slightly raised temperature, I will use Calpol. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, um, you know, 
it's, it has got paracetamol in it, it's, you know, sugary, so you wouldn't want to use it too much, but no. if you think your baby needs it, then use it. And, and again, I think, you know, when they have their injections, I used to always use it pre and then later on if yep. I needed it. Because I think, why do you want to put a baby through so much pain? No, um, no. So, and use the little syringe, do you? Well? Yes, yes, it comes with a syringe. So it's, um, yeah, it's nice and easy to use. Um, yeah, Perfect. just use a, put a bib on your baby when you're doing it, just in case they spit <laughs> any of it out. Cool. So that's, that's Calpol. Brilliant. And then we move on to um, oh. teethers. Now, let's start with... Sophie the giraffe. Oh. Sophie la giraffe. It's French. <laughs> um, <laughs> this was actually given to me at my baby shower. Oh. And um, we've used it. We've used it because Elliot is teething now. Different so. textures to there, to there. Yes, yeah, so we've got um, fine dots here and then we've yeah. got a ridge here. And so it's, it depends how bad it is. Yeah, and I don't know if maybe, um, depending on the age of the baby, they might prefer Maybe, one. yeah. Who knows? That's something I'll have yeah, to find out. Yeah, it'll be interesting to know. Um, actually, we'll have to look it up and see what it actually means. But yeah. it could just be texture. It yeah, just doesn't really matter, be. doesn't it? Um, so that's that. And then we've also got these... Um, teething keys. Yeah, they're good, aren't um, they? I don't know how you say that. Newbie nubby? No, no. no. <laughs> God, I don't know. But, um, Newbie. <laughs> but it's one of those brands that's very well recognised. It is, it? yeah. And what's great about these as well is that they're really nice and colourful. And Elliot's at that age where he is. Well, it's, they can see now. Oh, he yeah, can see yeah. Now because it was black it and white, in. wasn't mm -hmm. it, originally? But now he actually... And his eyes are so blue, Elliot. <gasps> um, so, yeah, so they can actually see the colours. Um, yeah. So he will go for these. Does he ever actually just suck on that? He has. Oh. He has before. Newbie, newbie. Yeah, he has. It's newbie actually, isn't it? Um, and I think you can put these in the fridge as well. Yes. Make them that was cool. it. That was it. You can put them so it just cools down the gums because it's the gums that really hurt. Yeah. It? So it's a really good idea. So these these are really good. Um, I'd recommend these. And there are so many different teethers out there. Mm. Um, you could have a lot of fun, you know, trying them all out. But yeah. I'm quite happy with with Sophie and the newbie at the moment. God, people could put a cap on them, couldn't they? Well, they could, you know. <laughs> they could. Granules. <laughs> yeah, anything. Whatever oh. works. So, so, yeah, so you're finding that you're managing it and, you know, as long as he's not stressed and then you're not stressed as well. Yeah, yeah. And I think, you know, there are, there are other ways to deal with a, a very unhappy baby, you know. Mm. You know as a mother you'll know what um, can help so it could be yeah could be nursing could be taking them out in the pram yeah could be taking them for a drive you know whatever whatever works really and you've got quite a long way to go with it so yes <laughs> yes you have to embrace it it's only the beginning yeah but as always i think it's really important to just try and stay positive try and Absolutely. try and stay calm and and use the things that are out there because and and it's really important to know that there is homeopathic stuff you yes. don't have to get anything because there's the bongella you can use isn't it you could mm. put that on the gums for babies there's quite a few different things mm. but it's very much about what you want to use yeah and, yeah. and him being happy. So. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> cool. So thanks very much for watching. Yeah. And um, if you have any questions or have any suggestions for me yeah. um, in my teething journey with Elliot, then please let us know in the comments below. Thank you. Subscribe.